Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little about modules and locking modules. Because D&D 4.0 is out, it is looking great, it is looking beautiful, but it is by no means perfect. We don't expect it to be perfect on the initial release. And of course, we do have the issue of all of our add-on modules are gonna take time to update and then settle down a bit. So as we've discussed before, locking in the D&D 3.3.1 and those modules is a sensible thing to do, especially if you have a live game. In the previous video, we showed you how you can set up a second version of Foundry so you can go and play with 4.0 without wrecking your current stuff. But we're starting to run into a couple of little issues. Um, where the mods are being updated to be 4.0 compatible, some of them are auto updating to that 4.0 version and your 3.3.1 game is suddenly n not able to access them okay so we've had a few people who had that issue and the one that's kind of highlighted that is build a bonus so we need build a bonus as part of gambit's pre-mades um, if you're not using build a bonus this is the, the theory of what we're doing here is still applicable it's just that's a particularly good one for us to look at so what we need to do is we need to, when we know that we are at one that we want to stay on, if we click this update all, it's going to just update everything, isn't it? Did you know you can right click on, for example, build a bonus, and there is an option to lock module. By doing that, this little spinny thing here, this little update button is gone and we have a padlock. Now I'm on still on the correct version of build a bonus for 3.3.1 um, and now I'm going to stay on it because I can't accidentally update this. <laughs> I can't do it. Even if I click update all it will not update build a bonus and I'm in inverted commas safe. Now of course at some point I need to make sure I unlock that to enable it to be able to do the updates that I need it to. And as you can see generally speaking I don't lock my modules. Um, which is not a great thing to do, especially as I've been telling you guys about locking your modules. Um, and it's because I tend to take the very next edition um, because I help with testing and feedback on some of the things and stuff like that. Um, but that's not the safest way to do it. Right, so how do I know that this builder bonus is the correct version that I need for my D&D one? Well, you've got the little info icon here and you can click on this link and it will take you to the GitHub. So let's look at the GitHub for Builder Bonus. Here it is. Let's whiz this over here. And you're, if you're not familiar with it, you're looking at this and going, what the heck is all this stuff? Well, it's all the files that run Builder Bonus for us. And it tells you the last time they were updated. And you can see just two days ago, Builder Bonus got an update. And then you're thinking, yeah, 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 but is it right for me? Now, you can scroll through all of this lot, <laughs> which tells you how to use it. But it doesn't necessarily tell you what you need to know about compatibility. But there is a really absolute fail-safe way of doing it. This module, Johnson, or Jason, um, this is what contains the information about this module. What you can do is you can actually right click open in a new tab and you can see the code now you can't fiddle with this code your view only but what you're looking for in here and this is kind of a good way to start familiarizing yourself a little bit with code what you're looking for is this compatibility this is version 12 minimum version 12 maximum so that tells us about the version of foundry so this is only this version of builder bonus is only for version 12 but we're interested in the D&D system. So let's come down. Systems. D&D 5e system compatibility. A minimum of 4.0.0. So this version of Builder Bonus. That is currently available if I hit update. Is for 4.0. I don't want that. So that's why I've locked my module. So I can't accidentally uh, update that now. I don't want to. That's not what I want. So that is locked. That's going to stay there. Now, this is locked for this version of Foundry. I've got my other version of Foundry for testing. I can lock differently there. 
so I can still up, uh, download, build a bonus for there, etc. But it's not an awful lot of point when the rest of the supporting modules are not there yet. So really important, I wanted to let you know that you can do that. You can just lock them and leave them there. We can do that with all the other things um, with MIDIQL if we want to. Uh, if I find time's up, time's up, what should we be on at the moment? Uh, 11 3 19, that's what I'm on. Makes sense that I lock that module as well. That's not going to be updated anymore for 3.3.1. There's no reason to because it's just, mwah, it just works. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, I'm not, I hate it when I say it's a simple module because I don't, in, I don't mean to imply that it's simple for the modders. But what I mean is it's, its impact on the game is relatively straightforward. So it's not, uh, it doesn't take an awful lot to keep it up to date, which is great. Uh, Vision 5e is one that we has uh, actually jumped as well. So we can jump into Vision 5e. It's updated five days ago. Uh, the latest version 2.4.4. But again, instead of reading through all of this, sometimes it's easier just to open that JSON file and say, right, okay, what's its compatibility? Version 2.0, so, okay, compatibility of version 12 of Foundry is right there. Um, and is it got a D&D specific? There we go. Now, oops, I didn't mean to click that. Um, if you look here, minimum is 3.2 but it's verified to also work for 4.0. So we can absolutely update this one because it will still work on 3.2. Okay, because that minimum version um, is really quite important for what we're doing. All right, so I hope that's been kind of useful for you to let you know about locking those modules, keeping yourself, uh, you know, it's just a pain for the sake of a right click and a left click to lock it. It's going to save you going, oh, no, my game's broken. What's broken? I have to find out which one it was and then roll back the module by finding the, the link and manually doing it. That's a pain in the butt. You don't want to have to bother with that. So lock your modules. Um, anyway, so it's been a, an interesting week with the release of 4.0. I haven't been doing much in the way of videos because we've been playing with that stuff and I've had other things going on in my life. Um, but it's, uh, it's really interesting watching what's going on and it looks really exciting for 4.0 regardless of the rule set you want to look at, whether it's the 2014 D&D rule set or the new 2024. It's looking awesome. But again, I'm staying on 3.3.1 for quite a while yet because I've got a live game that I don't want to risk it. Anyway, thank you for watching. You take care and I will see you in the next one.